Hello again. We're back. Spoiler time. Uh, before we start, we should say that me and her are extremely tired. We actually got to doing this part of the review a little later than we meant to, and he's got some food issues at the moment. Yes. So this shouldn't. This is not going to be extremely long. Thank goodness between, it's not gas. Between the two, um, well, between like the spoilers and the not spoiler one, we went to go eat. Yes, and so. we spent a little longer than we meant to. But anyway, so spoiler time. I got too much carrot cake spots going. <laughs> yeah, spoiler, you I, get too much I, carrot cake. I got it, and so I gave it to him because I couldn't finish it. Because that's what they want to hear. Are you talking about the carrot cake you just ate? It was delicious. <laughs> Let's do a review on this. Yes, we're going to do a review on the Let's talk about the delicious cake. carrot cake. Okay, so, you know, it's Pacific a Rim. Stale, anyway, Pacific Rim. Spoilers. Spoilers. Okay, so... In the end, all the aliens die. Well, I, Yeah, actually, we were, I must assume they all died. Okay. Actually, not all of them, them, but at least the area where they created the gate. By the way, the gate, weird, freaky, trans-dimensional you know, they, uh, there's a, there. like a, what's a, it's a scientific term, I think. They used it in Thor at one point, like Bo Einstein, Heisenbridge or something like that. Essentially, like a doorway to another world. That's essentially what this is. It's like a tube cylinder thing. It's, do like a 3D imaging of it, which that is really not a good comparison. It's essentially like what it's you... like a giant monster's throat. Yeah, essentially different valves. In fact, open I think up. I think they even it's called it a throat. It's like, not to sound vulgar, it's kind of like a multitude of vaginas opening up at points. I'm sorry that popped into my head at one moment. Yeah, I just said that. I'm you sorry. pervert. Hey, no. by the way. We should probably clear this up right now. All right. These reviews are not intended for younger audiences. <laughs> we should put a disclaimer before. <laughs> discretion <laughs> is advised. Your discretion is advised. Rated, you know, what's the lowest you can go before X? I think NC-17. <laughs> uh, anyway. That's a rating? Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, you never see X-rated uh, movies in theaters. No, never. Only NC-17. But anyway. I just realized my bandanas make it look like I don't have a top to my head. You don't. Regardless. No, no. Anyway, but no, yeah, um, no, uh, we, everyone in this movie I thought was fantastic. Charlie Day is a great comic relief, the, I can't remember, don't know his name, but he was the, the, that guy who fell through the ice in The Dark Knight Rises. That's who he is, if you remember The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, he's that, uh, guy who was, like, the second in command to... Daggett, who got killed by Bane, and then he gets taken to the court and says, I'd rather be exiled and falls over the ice. That guy. Both him and Jared Day play two scientists, and they're basically the major comic relief. They play off each other so well. Charlie Day is like this weird, I'm so pro monster, I think they're great, and then the other guy is like, I believe in numbers and I'm British, so it's. I I'm, am laughably British. I'm, yes. Actually, he's very fast. He. I am laughably British. You are not right. No, I am right. No, I am right. He. It's one of those things. But it's so well played off. They like have really good chemistry with each other. It's really funny. Um, Sam. Do you want to add your two cents? Let's beat this shit together. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Let's do this. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, kind of, it was a little the frizzy. two actors actually do a really good job yeah, um, playing off of each other. Then going into yeah, I love so the, the two scientists, yeah, they were they funny were funny as hell. <laughs> then going into some of the side characters because we do want to keep this relatively short. Yeah. Um, side character wise, and we still got to talk about previews and stuff. Yeah, we do. We'll get side character more. wise, we have. I mean, he just young helped. Australian young guy, young Australian, older Australian and guy, older Australian guy. Oh, and, and bulldog, and their dog, yeah, and their dog. <laughs> and we have Marshall, who is he just not Elder. the only black guy, uh, but he. You have I, to remember that this is very much live action a, anime. Yeah, so yeah. he's the stereotypical anime Great, black thank. guy. Is he the only black guy? I didn't see um, any other black guy. I didn't see any other black guy. You nope. know what? But being the only black guy, he's badass. He's Ever he's, he's Celebra. Hence, I said, he is the <laughs> stereotypical um, anime black guy. Where he's badass, but he ends up dying. See which, he, he ends up dying by having two of the uh, 
Kaiju's the monster. Kaiju's coming at his big and then mech, mech robot yeah, and then detonating Jaeger. the bomb they had on board Australian. detonating a huge ass that, nuclear bomb which gave way to a great scene that actually, I was actually would happen comment. I was actually going to comment on that I've seen some, I mean I love it when a movie can do something that makes me go wow that's a good effect the scene is they blow the bomb and it's it's like a megaton nuke so the explosion is just uh, amazing and then like the one other mech that's piloted by the main hero has like a sword arm and he braces for the impact. Impact comes, and then Lean like forward a little bit sorry. more. Uh, and then the aftermath of the explosion. And I'm like, I'm looking at this like, wait, they're, they're underwater, right? They're, why is there smoke under there? That's actually what happened to Sam when the first time it happened. And then I said the water rushing. Sorry, go ahead. The first time it happened was she's sitting there and she's like, what? And then we see a little fish. Flap around in the mud, and we're like. It was also I saw like I saw the the arms because it had like tentacle arms. I saw I saw them go flop, not go flying past like it would in water. I'm like that that doesn't uh, happen. The, the one thing I want to comment on that is the fish would probably be vaporized too, but that's beside the point. Well, like, yeah. yeah, it was yeah, the but, tentacle arms. Oh, oh okay. Same. Sorry, I thought you were talking about a fish. Um, no, and then you know I'm looking as like. We're thinking back on land, and then all of a sudden I see the wall of water crushing it, and then I realize what happened. I'm like, dude, that's a really cool effect. <laughs> oh, yeah. But then, of course, the main characters yeah. end up grabbing the dead body of the level five Kaju. Mm. So much, they have different levels. Yeah, you know, I don't think we ever technically saw level one. No, because this movie takes place like. Actually, it, it, no, I think. That the one that they used during the open during that like was the trailer like yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. No, it was a level one. No, the first one that they say is like the first one that attacked and attacked San Francisco. It was a level one, I think they said. Yeah, I think that's a, that was a level one. The thing is, this movie takes place like already while all these events like it, it gives you a run by play. It's like a five minute run play, so it's not like you're just rushing through it. They actually give detail about what's happened. I think it's like, uh, what was it, like seven years uh, since the war started, I think they said? Yeah. Yeah, about seven years. The main movie is seven years. And then years about after. five years after that, or an instant, where the main character's brother's killed. No. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was seven he, uh, years. There, it was seven more, years, and then four. his brother gets killed, and then he basically goes, you know, under, like, seclusion. And then it's five years later where they come to get him again. Five was or that four. Five, was yeah. that seven years? Yeah, it was seven years. So it's like a 12-year span altogether. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, no, and then, like, the fighting, again, the fighting was, there's a scene, and I just, like, started laughing my ass because how awesome it is. They're fighting in Hong Kong, and then the main character is, like, the only mech that's left. You see him just casually walking with an ocean liner in his hand. That wasn't an ocean liner. Oh. It was actually an oil rig. Okay, an oil rig in his hand. And he fights with it like it's a sword. <laughs> I'm just laughing my ass, like, this oh, yeah. is awesome. But, or like a baseball bat. Or, but like he's fighting it like it's a stick. Like... Yeah. It actually seemed very reminiscent of other animes. And I can't name it enough. And I think they also did this in uh, Roni Kenshin and some others like that. Mm -hmm. Where basically it's that badass scene where the main character is like dragging his oh, sword yeah, along behind yeah, him. That, yeah. Being all like... I'm a cool, badass person. I, think that, I don't need to carry my sword. I think in any the, series where they use swords, that's what happens. I don't need to carry my sword like it's picked up. And then he just whips it up and starts beating the other guy down with it. Yeah. And it was funny. But now we gotta get into the one character I think we all agree with. Well, the best character. actually, now it's previous. Oh, uh, previous? All right. But really quickly talk about that character. Because okay. we're about to hit the 10-minute okay, okay. mark. All right, uh, Ron Perlman. Okay. Uh, Ron Perlman shows up as a black market dealer. He deals with, like, the remains of Cayus and stuff like that. I want his shoes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, to explain the character, his name is, first off, Hannibal Chow, who's named after his favorite historical figure in res Chinese restaurant in Brooklyn, apparently. <laughs> he has, like, a gold switchblade gold like almost armored shoes and he's like wearing these i don't what kind of glasses were those uh those were like old style oh god i want to say sunglasses like oh, uh yeah. old style like uh fire pilot or uh welder 
sunglasses. I want to say they were more, yeah, they were yeah, more, more welders. Because welder. yeah. they also, they, like, yeah, they covered his, the they covered his sides, yes. Yeah, kind of went out a little well, bit. Well, yeah, a bunch of old sunglasses used to do that, too. Yeah, and he's, he's just got this... L it's, again, Ron Perlman, and I've said this before, by the way, Ron Perlman's one of those actors, when he's having fun, every scene he's in is just a fun time to be in. He's comical, just very Comical. He's st and he's still badass in his own way. It it's great. Yeah. And when we said that, and I'm not going to, and although we're doing spoilers, I'm not going to spoil the scene. When we said stay after the credits, that scene involves Ron Perlman. So that's all I'm going to say on that. Yeah. Uh, now, yeah. Yeah, preview time. Previews. Gravity is kind of freaky. There was something I wanted to say about the movie, too. Uh, another thing in Pacific Rim? The okay. Russians oh. and black guys always die. Always. Every single time. Like, every movie I've watched where there's, Sam. like, this group of Russians, they always die or get killed. And Part of the, the black guy always dies. I want to explain really quick. Is because most of these movies are set during like that time period when America didn't really like the Russians. They're done by anti-communists. <laughs> that. When America capitalism, didn't like the, the Russians <laughs> very much. Or, in this case, it's because in a lot of media where, like, the Russians and well, black guys, um, Russians and or black guys are involved in, like, an anime or manga or anything else along those lines, they tend to be the ones who die. Okay, I would like to just comment briefly before we go back to Petraeus. I really don't think that's really any commentary because the Russian team died, the Chinese team died, the Australian no, they team died. No, never said that they really died. Um, and then one guy from the Australian... Like, they said, like, they lost two, but they never made it really clear that they died. Like, you see the Russians no, die. No, we hear, the, we hear, the flat, we hear them flatline because they have their... You can hear that they have their, like, um, condition... On their monitors, and then you hear the just flatlining beep of the. Uh, Which I ones? Didn't, I didn't notice that the the Chinese guy. Oh yeah, you the Chinese you guy. See, I, like I saw the mech go see, back, but I thought they still could have survived because they didn't go no, underwater. The no, Russians when you're went watching underwater. it, oh, you they see the, the head uh, kaiju crush the head. Yeah, they crush the head. And you the see the Chinese, Chinese guys gun. going. And then yeah, they just, the the one with the tail. How did its, I not see yeah, that? Yeah, I, I don't. You might have to see it again. But yeah, the one with the tail that was crushing things grabbed the head and just crushed it in its tail. Yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way, okay. I must have thought he crushed. And the like and the kaiju's they're all actually different. There's that not like just generic oh, monster. Yeah. They're every one of them is different and the same at the same time. Did I just Night grab bed. my tits yeah. during that? Yeah, possibly. Okay, okay back back they're to the still being posted on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> back to the previews, however. Uh, Gravity. Get, that's a freaky movie, okay? There's little in light that actually freaks me out. I would hate to be in that scenario. Yeah. Quick, we'll just go over this yeah. very quickly because we're running a little bit long. Yeah. Quick synopsis. Gravity is about, seems to be, based on the preview, about a bunch of astronauts in space who the space station, like, gets hit by all these yeah. meteors, and they go flying off in space and wacky hijinks and so. Yeah, it's, um, and I'm actually wondering how they're going to get, like, an hour plus out of this. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's George, I don't know the actresses, but George Clooney's in it, and essentially, you know, you're stranded in the space. George Clooney is finally in something. Who Again. was the female actress? Um, that? I don't know. We, we kind of got in there about like when the hair was half over. was, uh... Oh, God, I'm blanking on her name. No, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow? No. Sigourney Weaver? No. <laughs> no. African-American. Norman Bates? Norman. That's a man! That's not even a real person. Regardless, um, if you can think of it, we'll put it up another time. Moving on. Anyway. From Catwoman. Oh, Halle Berry? Yes, I thought it was Halle Berry. I don't think she... it is. I, I don't know. Um, and, yeah, but anyway, okay, moving anyway. on. Anyway. Next trailer we saw was Business. I'm sorry. I have no... Not first off, I have no interest in seeing that movie. Honestly, I only want to touch on the two that we haven't seen. So oh, well, all right. Though I do briefly want to say, World's End looks awesome. That is very true. And yeah. I don't like Ooh. Ashton Kutcher is another thing. That's all I'm going to say about <laughs> Business. I hate Steve Jobs. <laughs> you anyway. Steve Jobs, I hate Ashton Kutcher. I think we're good on this. I don't like either of them. Really. You do realize, though, if we're going to be doing this more often, we may have to see it. I know. Yeah. Regardless, the only other movie that's trailer that's new. Seventh Son. We finally remember the name, which is good. Uh. Jeff Bridges as not he's not a knight per se. He's what would you call him? 
a knight <laughs> or a monster. He's hunter. like a well, actually, he's kind of like a, a you want to if you want to put it like a Japanese country. He's like a Ronin. He's like a disgraced knight, I guess. And he, not oh, really. Ron. He looks more like a knight slash monster hunter. Yeah, you're right. Actually, you know that's a he good... looks like an old yeah, Van Helsing. Like that's exactly Ronin. why. Yeah, you're right. He looks like an old Van Helsing, except it's Jeff Bridges. Yeah. And, you know, he's just fighting monsters, is what he does. And apparently he's training the seventh son of the yeah. seventh son. So the 77th son. Okay. Uh, anyway, I think that's the thing. Reminds me of things. the lightning thing. The seventh son of the seventh son. No, wrong one. Bad. No. Okay. That other one with the seventh well, son of the seventh I, son of seven sons. Uh, all right. All right. Um, <laughs> you know, we're going to have to get more structure we to are. these things. <laughs> but, you know. Because the two of you just... Oh, you two you were gotta doing turn that earlier. it back a little bit. Bull crap. I know. I'm sorry. Still. Bull crap on that. Especially you. Who, well, me? Anyway. Good night, everybody. All right. We'll talk to you another time. Bye. I just Say bye, Sam. In the background. <laughs>